What's up guys, this is Ultima iDevice Vids, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at 5 great iOS 16 features. So without a doubt, the headlining feature of iOS 16 is the overhauled lock screen. It now features a whole host of customization options. If you tap and hold on the lock screen, you can select customize, and from here you can do a variety of things, one of which being the ability to add widgets to get useful information at a glance directly on your lock screen. There's a whole host of widgets that you can choose from, and if you scroll through here you can select any of these applications and there's a variety of widgets in a variety of sizes that give you different information and it's super easy to rearrange remove and add widgets you could just remove them by pressing minus add them by tapping any widget you like and you could easily rearrange them just by tapping and holding like that you could also customize the other elements up here if you tap on the time you have the ability to choose between a variety of different fonts as you can see to get the exact look that you want you could also choose the color of this area by selecting any of these colors and you could drag this slider to again get it looking exactly the way you want it to look and if you select the date up here there's a variety of different types of information that you could add for example the current weather conditions any upcoming calendar events and more and as you can see it works just like that and believe it or not this is just the tip of the iceberg iOS 16 now allows you to have multiple lock screens saved and you could switch between them whenever you want if you tap and hold to bring up the lock screen picker you could swipe between any of the lock screens that you have saved. And you could add or create new ones by selecting the plus button in the lock screen picker. And from here, you can either create your own lock screen using you know any photos that you have saved, or you could choose any of the pre-made ones that come in this picker. One of my favorite pre-made lock screens is the astronomy one. And of course, from here, you could customize any of these elements that I just talked about a minute ago. And this is really neat because it actually shows the accurate astronomical conditions and updates live. Also, there are several effects, basically different positions in space that you can set your wallpaper to take place from. All of them look great. Also, the animations when switching between them, even just in this picker here, look super slick. But the main thing I want to show you is the animation when you unlock your device with this selected. As you can see, just the animation transitioning from the lock screen to the home screen is really nice. And the same thing goes when you bring down the cover sheet by swiping down, as you can see, and then, you know, dismiss it by swiping up. Another one of my favorite pre-configured iOS 16 lock screens is the weather lock lock screen. This allows you to use the current weather conditions as the wallpaper of your device. So whatever weather conditions are going on outside, they're going to appear on your lock screen as the wallpaper. And of course, this lock screen also comes pre-configured with a bunch of widgets that involve weather. But of course, you could customize those to whatever you want. But I just think it's really neat to not only be able to tell what the weather is from the widgets, but also literally have the current weather conditions as the wallpaper. And this also extends to the home screen, which is really great. So you could see, again, the current weather conditions just as the background of your home screen wallpaper as well. And another neat feature of the iOS 16 lock screen are the depth effects. So this basically allows for a 3D effect to be created when you have either a wallpaper or an image of your choice and there's kind of something in the foreground and the background of that image. iOS 16 now detects that and puts the time kind of in between those two elements to create a 3D effect. It's definitely a small touch, but I do like it. And of course, you can easily enable and disable the depth effects by going into the customize menu, selecting the three dots, and from here you could again disable or enable it easily. Also, notifications now come in at the bottom of the lock screen. And of course, you could expand your whole list of notifications by swiping up. And of course, you could swipe down to close it, and you could even swipe your entire list of notifications away completely. And if you do that, you'll now get a new indicator at the bottom of the screen telling you how many unread notifications you have. And one more wallpaper related feature that I want to mention is called legibility blur. And this isn't actually for the lock screen wallpaper. This is for the home screen wallpaper. It allows you to get this gorgeous blurred effect on the home screen wallpaper. If you go into settings, wallpaper, and then select the home screen, if you turn on a legibility blur, again, you'll get this gorgeous effect that again, blurs out out the wallpaper that you have set on the home screen. I just think it looks absolutely fantastic, especially with the default iOS 16 wallpapers. And it does go for a neat transition from the lock screen that, you know, isn't blurred to the home screen that is. Next up, I want to discuss some features added to the messages application. The first of which being the ability to edit and unsend iMessages. So in iOS 16, within 15 minutes after you send someone an iMessage, you now have the ability to tap and hold on that message and either undo sending it or edit the message. So of course you could, you know, type in whatever you want here, select the check mark, 
And just like that, as you can see, it does edit the message. However, once you edit a message, it will be marked as edited, as you can see, for you and the other person. And once again, you could also unsend just by selecting undo send. And just like that, the message goes away, not only from your device, but also the other person's device. Now, for both of these features to work, the other person also has to be running iOS 16. If the other person is running iOS 15, your edits will not show. It'll just show the original message you send. And if you try to unsend a message, message, they'll still have that message. So it takes no effect if the other person is running an older version of iOS. And another great feature added to the messages application is the ability to mark threads as unread just by swiping to the right, just like that. And this will also show a badge on the messages icon just to remind you that it's there. You could also mark it as read just by doing the exact same gesture. Also, Apple added a recently deleted section to the messages application. So now whenever you delete an individual message or a whole message, thread rather than it permanently deleting that message on the spot now if you go back out and select edit you'll see a new show recently deleted folder and if you select that you'll see all the conversations that you deleted of course after you know 30 days or 40 days iOS will automatically delete them permanently but if you want to recover them or delete them permanently immediately you could do that from here the iOS 16 default mail application now adds the ability to schedule emails to be sent at a later time whenever you're ready to schedule an email to be sent, just tap and hold on the send button. And from here, you can pick any date and time that you want this email to automatically be sent at. And then you could just go ahead and select done. And just like that, it's scheduled to send. And of course, if you want to cancel the scheduled email or change the time, you could go back to your mailboxes and then go into the send later folder. And from here, you have the ability to again, either edit and change the time or just cancel it altogether. In iOS 16, Apple expanded the live text capability to videos, which is absolutely incredible. So now if you're ever watching a video on your device and you know there's text somewhere in the video, if you go ahead and pause the video where that text is showing, you could actually now literally select that text using the live text feature just like this and you could easily either look up a certain word or just copy all of that text and now you could paste it wherever you want, just like this. This is an incredibly useful feature. iOS 16 allows you to lift a subject out of an image and isolate that subject by removing the background. I'll show you what I mean here. So here's a picture of a bunch of iPhones. So let's say I just wanted to separate these iPhones in their own image and get rid of the background. With iOS 16, I just tap and hold on the subject and just like that, it will go ahead and separate it. And from here, I could either copy this or share it or even just drag and drop this, you know, whole four ground that I just took out and I could put this wherever I want. I could message it to somebody or put it in a note. And again, it's completely separated from the background of the original image. I could definitely see this coming in handy for a lot of people. And guys, those are just a few of many, many awesome features in iOS 16. In this video, I just wanted to go over a few of my favorite ones. But all right, guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. Let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite iOS 16 feature is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.